Welcome back to the Justice Factors. Usually in this section, we applaud, we applaud those who do well and name and shame those who continue to fail the people who put them in power. And so first, our winner of the week. Blaise Kampauer of Burkina Faso has been in power for 27 years. Last week, he tried to change the constitution to give himself another five years in power. But the people of Burkina Faso taught this little dictator a big lesson. They stormed government buildings and blocked voting on a bill that would have seen Kampauere serve his fifth term in office. The people of Burkina Faso have showed courage by standing up to this dictator. They did us all a favor. Any leader who thinks that they can change the constitution to stay in power forever will now think again. People like Kampauere, people who have no respect for their constitutions, or the millions of people who elect them will taste the power of the people. And so our, winner of the week, or our winners of the week are the people of Burkina Faso. And now to our loser of the week. On Sunday, thousands of households around the country had no electricity. ESCOM announced that we will be subjected to blackouts similar to those in 2008. The reason, said ESCOM, was that there had been a coal silo collapse at its Majuba power station in Mpumalanga. But wait a bit. The new ESCOM CEO, Tsidiso Matona, had said earlier that there was only a crack at the silo when, in fact, the silo had collapsed. Why did ESCOM need to mislead the public? Plus, shouldn't ESCOM be prepared for such incidents? These are the same people who are demanding tariff increases from you and me. It's absolutely appalling. And so our loser of the week is. ESCOM. What a bunch of losers. And with that, we, we come to the end of our show. Remember, we always welcome your feedback and suggestions. Email us on justicefact at enca.com, tweet us on at Justice Malala, and like us on Facebook. Please join us next week for more news, views, and debates. My name is Justice Malala. Have a fabulous week.